Thank you for joining us on the Financial Pastor Podcast, where we discuss everyday truth from God's Word and how it applies to our daily living. And hope this will help you, encourage you, draw you closer to the Lord. God bless. Chapter 1 of the book of Colossians tells us a lot that we need to do for the Lord. Before Paul tells us to do something or challenges us to live a certain way, he tells us what all Jesus has done for us. He says we've got the hope of heaven in the first part of Colossians. He then tells us toward the end of the first part of Colossians um, that Jesus has delivered us from the power of darkness, conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son, in whom we have redemption through His blood and forgiveness of sins. Boy, that is a ton wrapped into a small uh, few verses. We've been redeemed, been bought back. That means that you had no hope. Now you got not only hope, the hope of heaven. Uh, you've got hope of living with God for eternity because you've got peace with God through Jesus. Um, his blood has paid the price of our sin. We've been forgiven. All the wrong you've done in your life, you've been forgiven for it. And now you have the hope of heaven in the future. And because of all of that, God wants you to live a certain way. And Paul tells us that. We need to do what? Fill up on his word so that we can walk worthy of him. Uh, what does that mean? Well, he gives a few points here in this verse. He says, I want you to walk worthy of the Lord, fulfilling uh, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work. God wants us to be fulfilling in every good work. He wants us to be doing good for him so other people see it and are drawn to him. It pleases him for his creation to live heavenly instead of earthly. Um, it's just doing right, love and mercy, uh, walking humbly. It's making right decisions by God. It's being the best you can possibly be. And you do that by filling up on his word. You read his word. It allows you to make decisions. You've got to talk yourself into it. We've mentioned that before. You just don't magically feel like living how God wants you to live every day. Because the old nature, the old flesh is lazy. Um, it is, uh, it's got bad habits. And that's the way it's programmed. So you got to reprogram yourself through daily disciplines and talk yourself into filling up on God's word and say, I need this because it's going to benefit me long term. It's going to glorify God. I'm going to grow into what he wants me to be, the way that I was made. And so you do that by filling up his word and you become more patient, you become more long-suffering. Patience is getting through trials without stopping, without quitting. Long-suffering is dealing with difficult people. Hurt people hurt people. Uh, you're going to deal with a lot of hurt people in life. You're going to deal with people that's going to get you down. You've got to be long-suffering toward them. They need love. They need care. They need encouragement. You can't hash back at them. That's not what Christ did. you got to be focused on being Christ-like because he left and went to heaven and left you and me and all those that are Christ-like uh, followers of Christ to be the example. And so we got to be long-suffering. We have to be patient. And then it says giving thanks to the Father. Well, we've got to be thankful. Uh, the Bible tells us it's a commandment by the Lord to be thankful. Are you thankful for everything? You know, every day if you wake up and you pray to God and you uh, tell him how great he is, just look at creation and that'll give you an easy one. Tell him how thankful you are for what you have. It'll put you in the right mindset for the day. If you're prayed up in the morning, it'll help you get through the day when obstacles come up. It'll give you patience when that trial comes up you need to get through and keep a good testimony. It'll give you a, a long suffering when that person comes to you that's difficult to deal with. But you know you need to be Christ-like in that situation. It'll help you do that. When your marriage has friction and your husband's not doing what you want him to do, it'll give you patience and long-suffering to be Christ-like. It'll help him change. and It'll help him. Your wife, when she's not doing what you feel like she needs to, or maybe she's not uh, following Christ because she's down and she needs some encouragement, you can be that one to do that because you are uh, filled up on God's Word. It goes reciprocal continually. You got to fill up on God's word. You got to be patient. You got to be long suffering. And you do it because of what Christ has given us. Your future's bright. You'll quit if you don't look up and understand what heaven's going to be in the future. And God's giving you that through Jesus. So live for him now and be that, be that great example. Fill up on his word. Talk yourself into it. And be Christ like. God bless. Have a good day. Thanks so much for listening to the Financial Pastor Podcast. Uh, if you have more questions or would like to reach out to me, feel free to do so through email, brandon at alcova.com. Uh, you can also go to our website, victorybaptistcf.org. Also on Facebook, you can find us. And we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. And remember, uh, to be encouraged, God loves you. God's got a plan for you. Just continue to walk closer to Him. God bless. Have a great day.